Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today I want to talk about Adobe XD's new plugin. It makes it possible to create Flutter code out of Adobe XD right away. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and now let's get right into it. Let us begin with the idea. The idea is that we create in a design tool like Adobe XD our design for our Flutter application by clicking and creating everything, designing it out so we can give it for our, for example, to our design team. Our design team has an idea, create everything and out of the box we click on create widgets and we create at the end a finished application. That is the wish of that Adobe XD Flutter code generation at the end. So if you read inside of the GitHub repositories, there are currently some limitations, for example, no shadows, how you can use images with the shadows and also some other limitations that you find inside of the GitHub repository. The Adobe team is aware of that and explains that to us. Also the G Skinner team, for example, works already very close with that project and writes a lot of issues. So if you're interested, take a good look. It looks amazing. The idea comes from more or less from Supernova. Supernova is a tool that does exactly the same thing. So you create your application more or less inside of a UI tool and at the end it creates you the code behind of that. And this idea is also not new. I think a lot of you maybe know still Java UI which also did the same thing and I think code generators will always be an important role in programming because the wish that a programmer don't is not necessary and we can just do everything inside of a, uh, a design tool would be amazing. But I can promise you that Adobe XD is not there to extinct all the developers yet. So where do I see the benefit here? I can imagine that in the future we have a design team that creates the single widgets for us, export them right into our project and the pro developer don't have to care so much anymore about the UI. They can just use the widget and implement the necessary logic right away with the different layers and execution. And that would maybe improve the development process a lot. But now enough of the dry explanation. Let's jump into Adobe XD. First, we have to discover the plugin that we search for. So we search for Flutter inside of the Discovery tab. And here we find XD to Flutter. We install it. And after some seconds, you can see on the left side, the plugin is installed and we can is ready to use. We open up the UI panel and inside of here, we have the Flutter project where I just set it a default Flutter project, which I just freshly generated, a lib folder and an asset images where our images will be exported to. Now inside of our pubspec.yaml, we only have to add the Adobe package, Adobe XD package and the asset inside the assets folder. And with that, we are ready to go and everything is set up to work with Adobe XD. If you think you can export a whole application right out of Adobe XD to Flutter, I have some bad news for you. So I tried it here. We have a lot of warnings like font is not available or anything else, but what is absolutely for sure is you have a lot of problems there and a lot of boilerplate that is maybe not necessary so you have to double check everything it could come to compile errors and so on and so forth of course but when you have that you see the application is somehow there so if you maybe just need an idea how to create something or you just need uh, some some starting point that is a very good thing and you can try that too so if we want to export all the images out of our projects into our own project, we have to first give all the images a name. After that, when we have defined our path to the project and our path to the image assets, it will automatically export them right into our project and we can use them. And don't forget, hot reload is a thing. So right away after the export, the hot reload will trigger and we have the images in place. So we can use them also here. That is pretty cool and I highly recommend to try that out. As I said, I think that in the future or now, right now, we can use it for mostly for single distinct widgets that we create. So we take out an art book, place everything inside like we want to it and after that we export exactly that widget. That gives the developer the possibility to write with that widget everything that he needs 
and he can use that like he want. The cool thing is, after we exported everything, we can see right away the code. The only problem that I see, like for example, there is a lot of boilerplate that is not necessary. So for example, if you only create a widget, you don't necessarily need always a scaffold surrounding it. So you have to make sure that uh, after you have exported it, you also remove all the unnecessary parts. I would ask you to give it a try, take a look into how you can install the plugins, how you can use that and how you use it for your own project. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today when we created something with Adobe XD. Have you some experience with Adobe XD or even with Supernova? It would be very interesting for us. So please leave it down in the comments below. Press the subscribe button, hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Till the next time. See ya guys.